GTF Kisa What's good? Another day Another video GTF what's good man What's going on man If you woke up this morning You are blessed Cheers you are most definitely blessed if you woke up this morning, man. GTF was going on, man. We just out here catching a vibe, you feel me? We on that water with it, you understand me? We on that water with it, man. Y'all already know the boy live out here in Miami, Florida, so I gotta enjoy that water, you understand me? Gotta enjoy what's in the backyard, man. And you should too. You should enjoy what's in your backyard, whatever that is, you feel me, that's supposed to be enjoyable in your city and state, you understand me? But yeah, man, we out here. Got the cafe con leche on deck, you understand me? Little breakfast, you know what I mean? Little cafe con leche. Feel me? Something light. Cause you already know I do food reviews, so I don't wanna be eating heavy in the morning cause later on I gotta do a food review for lunch and that'll probably be the heavier meal for me of the day, you understand me? So I got the cafe con leche and I got this other thing here. Hold on. It's hard holding the camera in one hand trying to pull this thing out the bag with the other. And I got this right here. This right here, they call this a pain de bono, you understand me? What y'all know about that pain de bono with cafe con leche out there, man? You feel me? Hold on one second, try to put it back in the bag. But yeah, that's what we doing today. I don't know. Well, no, I do have an idea of what I want to eat today. Uh, I was thinking about doing grub on the half a dub, but there's really something else I want to try out. Um, and it won't be under half a dub. But it's a taco place. I'm not really even big on tacos like that, but I do like tacos, but I ain't really crazy about tacos. But it's the taco spot that I saw. You feel me? The pictures came across social media and I saw it. I like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna try that, you understand me? So I'm thinking about doing tacos today. I'm still unsure. Or grub on the half a dub, but I'm leaning more so more so towards the taco. But yeah, along the lines of pain de bone, I mean um cafe con leche. I know some of y'all out there probably, you know, we can't always assume that everybody knows everything. You feel me? So some of y'all out there probably don't know what cafe con leche is because of Depends on where you live at. You feel me? What city and state you stay in. You might not know what cafe con leche is. Or you might think that cafe con leche is just coffee with milk. You understand me? But I went online just to find something to read for y'all who out there who probably don't know what cafe con leche is. And it's cafe con leche is a beverage common throughout Spain and Latin America consisting of strong coffee mixed with scalded milk in approximately equal amounts. The amount of milk can be higher in a cafe con leche in vaso or a cafe con leche that they say you know here and then i went went on to find this because uh one thing about cafe con leche is you might think you know it's just coffee with milk cafe con leche translates into coffee with milk but you can't just make coffee at the house and put um and put milk in it and you got a cafe con leche it ain't gonna taste the same as if you go to the place like to one of these latin restaurants and get a cafe con leche because they got to use that machine or whatever how it made so i went on to find this little article here and it says how is cafe con leche made the cafe con leche is usually prepared by combining equal parts of espresso and whole dairy milk while the espresso should be prepared as normal the milk is scalded rather than steam heated or added cold milk is scalded by heating to just under its boiling point with a steam wand in the past scalded Scalding was used to kill bacteria and make safe and, and make milk safe for consumption. Now that milk is pasteurized. Scalded milk is often used in coffee shops and for baking. When scalded milk is added to espresso, it creates a rich, creamy, and natural, naturally sweet drink, but lacks a thick layer of foam or microfoam. Plant milk can be used, but they might react differently to scalding and could affect the drink texture and taste. Feel me? Just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about cafe con leche. Cause like I said, I can't assume everybody out there know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Also, I went ahead to look up the, uh, hold on, the pain de bono. Cause some of y'all out there might not know what pain de bono is. And it says pain de bono. Pain de bono is a type of Colombian bread made of cassava starch, cheese, eggs, and in some regions of the country, guava jam. You understand me? But this pain de bono here don't got no guava in it. You understand me? We ain't got no guava. But yeah, if you never had a pain de bono before, you are missing out, man. Pain de bono, you are missing out. And it's best when it's warm. It's best when it's warm, you understand me? That pain de bono be so fire with that cafe con leche, boy. You don't know what you're missing. This is a good item for breakfast. This is the only time I have a pain de bono. It's early in the morning for like breakfast with the cafe con leche. Not every day though, you know, I don't try to consume bread every day like that. But, you feel me? That's what a pain de bono is, man. Just had to give y'all a little me a little history lesson for the people that don't know about cafe con leche and pain de bono 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, sir. If you know about that paint they want on Cafe Connection, man, drop it in the comment. Let me know, man. But yeah, fam, we just on that water catching the fire. And uh like I said, I'm thinking about hitting up that taco spot today. I'm not sure yet, you feel me? But we definitely gonna figure that out though, man. We definitely gonna figure that out. GTF, I think there's been a change in plans. Yeah, change in plans, man. Um, hold on. Yeah, there's been a change in plans. Uh, I think the taco spot I was gonna go try out. I think I'm gonna save it for another day. Because yesterday I was in Walmart, right? And uh, yesterday I was in Walmart, and um, while I was in Walmart, I walked by the um. I didn't even know that Walmart had a, uh, a, you know, I don't be in Walmart often. So I didn't know Walmart had like a, you know, like a deli section, like a, like, I don't know what they call it, like a hot bar or whatever they call it, where you can go get the food, you know, like how they fix your plate or whatever the case may be. Um, so I want to try that out. You feel me? I mean, it's Walmart. So, I mean, I'm not, I don't know what to expect. You feel me? I don't, I, I don't think it's going to be, you know, the best or whatever, but. I believe it's definitely gonna be grub under half a dub, man. You feel me? We're gonna see what kind of food you can get from Walmart. <coughs> from Walmart Deli for grub under half a dub. Yer! Let go! All right, fam, we're pulling into Walmart right now. Right now, man. Looking for parking space. All right, fam, we here. Let's go see what this fool hitting for. Yard. Fam, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I don't know what to expect, but I'm kind of excited about it. You feel me? I didn't know that uh, Walmart had the deli thing going on, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. Man. Yeah. All right, fam. We got the grub. You understand me? Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, fam. I hope this grub tastes as good as it looks. You understand me? Because it definitely look good. You understand me? Definitely look good. Yeah, fam. So yesterday evening when I came here, came here looking for something else. I discovered the whole deli, the hot bar, whatever they call it. And, uh, but you know, the food was old cause it was the evening. So I told myself I was gonna definitely come back and do it. And I don't know, for some reason it just made sense to just do it today. Cause you know, the actually, you know, the Walmart, I mean, yeah, the Walmart was closer than going to the taco spot. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just go to Walmart today and do the grill for under half a dub. And uh, I'll do the taco spot another day. You feel me? All right, fam. So I got a six-piece lemon pepper wing meal. 
I think it was lemon pepper or lemon pepper ranch, she said that the chicken wings were. But I got the meal with two sides. Uh, I got mac and cheese and I got potato wedges. Fam, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Well, this thing smell good. You feel me? <laughs> I hope this thing tastes as good as it looks, man. This is gruff for under half a dub. I paid $7.40. Well, no. It was $7.47 plus tax. 7% tax. That's 52 cent. Total, $7.99. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. This thing smell good. And... It's a nice, heavy plate for uh, $7.99. You understand me? Nice size, heavy plate. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. I ain't gonna lie. For the amount, the weight, for the cost of the food, is on point. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying that the food is on point right now. I ain't even tried the food yet. What I'm saying is on point is the amount of food for the price. This is a nice... Heavy plate for $7.99. You know, six wings and two sides. Mac and cheese and potato wedges. That's what I'm saying is on point as of right now. Because a lot of y'all will be saying, oh, oh, he thinks he likes everything. He likes everything. But that lets me know that it's a lot of y'all out there that don't pay attention to the video. Because just because I say the word on point, that necessarily mean I'm talking about the food. I might be talking about the cost is on point. You know, the... The cost versus the, the the amount of food you get, I might be saying that's on point. Sometimes I might taste the food. I mean, I might be like it's edible. You feel me? But I don't say it's on point. If I don't, if you know, if I don't think it's on point, I ain't gonna say it's on point. You feel me? So just because I said it's on point, don't mean the food is on point. Cause I ain't even tried the food yet. I'm just saying the weight right now, the weight and the amount of food for seven ninety nine. On point. But yeah, fam. Y'all know the drill. Gotta set up Grip 10 Mobile Studios! You feel me? Then, you gotta wipe this mask. You gotta wipe this mask. From the last Sprite Splashdown. Y'all already know them Sprite Splashdowns going down every day. Yeah! Crazy. These wipes come in handy. Wipes come in handy. The mask come in handy. Yes, sir. Man, that, <laughs> that food smelling good in my um in my nose right now, man. It boy ready to devour that thing. Yeah. Hopefully it tastes good, man. Y'all ever remember watching cartoons and like in the cartoon that when the food smell like they, if they have like food in a cartoon, you'll see like the food, the smoke of the food, it'll be going up in the air. Then it'll go in like a cartoon character's nose or whatever. That's how I feel right now, bro. I can't see it, but I know it's up there, man. The smell of the food is coming up and it's coming towards me and it's going in my nose, bro. No cap. Fam, that's good. Now let's get into this food. Gotta pour one for the GTF. Let's pop this thing open. All right, fam, close up action. Y'all see that mac and cheese? Potato wedges. And lemon pepper wings. Fam, y'all drop them comments, man. Let me know what y'all thinking, man. For $7.99. $7.99, man. Let me know what y'all thinking, fam. Fam. I just finished shooting a short form video. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. For $7.99, I ain't complaining. This is not a bad meal for $7.99. I ain't gonna say it's the best meal ever. But. It's not the worst meal ever. I don't hate it. Would I come back again? <laughs> Hell yeah, for $7.99. Yeah, a potato wedge. Hit that bit. Mm. Mm. 
Not the best potato wedges I ever tasted. But it will definitely partake in helping your stomach to stop growling. No cap. Potato wedges not bad. Definitely edible. Definitely edible. Mac and cheese. Hit that bear. Hmm. Mac and cheese, definitely cheesy. But this mac and cheese give me the vibe, you know, of the Kraft macaroni and cheese, I guess you want to call it. But you know, I ate Kraft mac and cheese growing up, so I don't hate Kraft mac. I don't. I don't. I don't hate Kraft mac and cheese. You feel me? So not the best mac and cheese I ever had, but it's definitely edible. As part of a seven ninety nine meal. I'll take it, you Now we got these chicken wings over here. The flavor is lemon pepper ranch. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the chicken appears to be a bit dry, you understand me? Hit that bit. Now I'm keeping all the way real with y'all. The chicken is a bit dry. But the flavor, the lemon pepper ranch flavor, most definitely pussy. I ain't gonna lie, no cap. That lemon pepper ranch flavor on point. You feel me? Like the lemon pepper ranch flavor helps me look past the fact that it's a bit dry. This is a good meal for seven ninety nine. I ain't saying it's the best meal, but it's most definitely edible for seven ninety nine. You won't be disappointed. If you at work and you go on your lunch break at eleven or twelve, head over to Walmart Deli and get you this meal right here, man. This that six wing lemon pepper ranch chicken with two sides. I got mac and cheese, potato wedges. They had rice too, but. I should have got some rice, but I wanted to try the mac. I'm a, I'm a big fan of mac and cheese and potato wedges, so maybe I'll try the rice another time because I'm most definitely going to come back again for $7.99 in this economy. It's definitely worth it, fam. Get that wing again, man. This lemon pepper ranch flavor on point. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, for the amount of food, you can eat out of it twice. Like, I know I ain't gonna finish eating this right now. You can eat out of this twice. I done ate, one, two, hold on. One, two, three, four. Wait. I ate three wings already and I still got four left. The lady gave me seven. It probably be six. Man, shout out to the lady at the Walmart Deli, man. That's my third wing. Cause I ate one for the video and I just ate two for y'all. She gave your boy seven, you heard? Six would've still been good though. But I ain't complaining about the seventh one. Once again, this Kraft macaroni and cheese ain't bad. Yeah, fam, your boy four. Your boy four. Let me save the rest for later. I got one, two, three, four. Four wings for later. The potato wedges, I'm probably ain't gonna eat them later. Cause once you warm them up, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be good. But I can warm up the mac and cheese and the four wings. But y'all fan, this that Walmart 
deli, hot bar, whatever you call it. My first time discovering, well, I discovered it yesterday that they had that deli hot bar thing going on. I'm like, man, I had to come try it out for the GTF year. So definitely recommended for the 799, man. Definitely recommend it for the six ninety six uh, for the seven ninety nine. Y'all definitely try that out. You understand me? Try this today. Knock them all. GTF for life.